These are gonna be the best potatoes you ever had. These smashed potatoes are gonna be crispy, delicious. Ah, oh, they're so good. All we're gonna need are some potatoes, salt, olive oil, a bit of garlic, and nutritional yeast. That's gonna give us such a rich, delicious umami flavor. This really makes this dish amazing. So let's get into it. I got about two and a half pounds of uh, yellow golden potatoes. You can use smaller ones if you like. It doesn't really matter. I wouldn't go too big because uh, it's just not gonna work the same. But here's where you put on some water onto the stove or use a handy Instant Pot. So I'm gonna Instant Pot these for about 10 minutes but you can also put on a boil and uh, get some uh, salt into your pot. From an Instant Pot, just add a bit of water and salt that. If you are boiling, what you're gonna wanna do is cook until you can easily poke a fork through the potato. All right, first you flick this switch, then this switch. That activates it. Then you push this button. And we're cooking. While that's getting ready, you can preheat your oven to 450 degrees. We going in hot. Okay, these are done. Whew. Let's release that. If you wanna get a whiff of the essence of potato. That's sweet potato air. I'm just being weird. There we go. Just make sure these are good. So we'll give that a poke. I already did. Should easily slide through. I'd say that it could even cook for a couple more minutes, but you know what? It will just from the heat. So let's transfer all of these. So we don't want too much moisture that will prevent it from being crispy. Um, if we hold off on putting it in the oven right away, the steam will actually kind of dry it out a bit. Seems counterintuitive, but it works. Okay, time to give these a smash. So we are just gonna take, uh, you can use a spatula, or ideally like a metal potato smasher. I just have a wooden spatula here and I am just gonna gently smash. And it's all right if you get little crumbs everywhere because those are just gonna get super crispy. These potatoes are pretty big for this, but that's okay. Oh, and you don't wanna have it, um, the potatoes touching too much. You want them separated a bit. And the more surface area, um, so the like crumblier parts, that's all gonna get really crispy. Probably use another pan here, but that's okay. Now we're gonna douse in some oil. I've seen people use like half a cup for this. I'm not gonna use that much even though I love oil, but consider that these are not the most healthy in terms of potatoes. Um, they're like fries, essentially. But I'm going for about uh, four tablespoons here. Then just check that depending on how much you salted the water, how much salt it needs. Mm. Because the salt just kind of falls off when you use the Instant Pot, I still need a fair bit, but you might not as need as much when you're uh, boiling it. But yeah, you want to do that to taste. You don't want to make it overly salty, so add a little bit and then uh, give it a taste. Get our special ingredient, vegan crack in there. Some nutritional yeast. Start buying this stuff by the kilogram here. How's that sound? It's also gonna make it uh, be a little more crispy too. Yeah, right here. Where's our garlic powder? Do we have garlic powder? It's like every minute is another gigabyte of footage. I found a little bit of garlic powder. 
You can use fresh garlic too, but it does come at the risk of burning. Bit of space. And into the oven we go, Ooh, that's hot. And that's gonna cook for about 25, 30 minutes. You can speed it up by putting it on a broil, but you gotta look super closely at it to make sure it doesn't burn. Uh, I like to broil it when it's on a lower rack. That way you're less likely to burn right away. But it does cook it up right faster. Right faster. And I think our potatoes are ready. Oh, hot. Ooh la la. Look at that. That looks delicious. Mmm. Look at all these crispy bits. Look at that. That's amazing. Let's give this a try. Hot. Mmm. That's superb. Mmm. That's amazing. Well, let's plate this. I'm gonna be eating these with uh, a couple Beyond sausages, some corn, and a salad. Here are the sausages sizzling. There's like crispy on the outside, fluffy on the inside. Oh, and if you want, what you can do is add garlic like halfway. Again, if you put it on from the beginning, you're probably gonna burn it, but that is an option. It's gonna make it a bit more delicious. You can sprinkle that with a bit of parsley. I don't have parsley, but I can fake it a bit with some arugula. Well, thanks for watching. I'm going to put all this on a plate and eat it with my fiance Natasha. And then we are going to watch The Handmaid's Tale. Well, you should watch some more videos if you're not making this for dinner and you're just here to binge delicious looking food. But thanks for watching. Bye for now.